pero... Hoi! I'm Serene, and welcome to the Academy. Now, knowledge is like for my brain. So as one does, as I was reading about gender and specifically masculinity, I was reminded of a video that I've been seeing popping off on sad relationship TikToks and it's Glimpse of Us by Joti. Let's start with a little disclaimer. So as an art critic, I'm going to claim that my opinion is not only valid, but also the only way you should ever interpret this work ever. Okay, thank you. I like to call it intellectual fascism. Let's get into it. So Glimpse of Us is tragic and not tragic haha, but tragic who. I'm not going to focus too much on the lyrics, though I do recommend that you study the lyrics and you learn them by heart because it's a really good song and I promote it all the way with all of my heart. Thank you. Except it's kind of toxic, so I don't know, maybe. Maybe do, maybe don't. But generally, the lyrics are nostalgic, sad, and a bit defeatist, but in like a, a bit optimistic way, like, what if you broke up with your boyfriend and I broke up with my girlfriend and then we got back together and we just had a toxic relationship? You know. The relationship is done, Joji, and he mourns over it. The video. The video contrasts a lot with the lyrics and the sound of the entire song. It's a lot of chaos, like all of it is chaos at the beginning. The music video is chaotic in a messy kind of way, not in like a oh god kind of way. I mean kind of an oh god kind of way. There's empty cigarette cartons everywhere. There's also beer cans thrown about. There's rabbits and a baby deer in the, inside the house and a mattress that's just all mattress, no sheets. It's kind of like those like stereotypes and memes where it's like men will really live like that. It's literally just a mattress on the floor, no sheets, no other furniture in the middle of the room, cardboard box, TV on top, and that is a bachelor pad. Now, we get this idea that the men who live in this living arrangement are maybe into drugs or other illegal activities. Um, none of their faces are shown. That's not necessarily an indicator of any of that. And then you also have, you know, the face coverings that, like, cover the rest of their heads pretty much. And then also the do-it-yourself tattoos, which are a thing, but also a good way to get an infection if you don't, like, clean it properly. And I don't know that anything in that house is very clean, so... Yay. So as we get into the first chorus, we do see a lot more pyrotechnics, aka fireworks. Just fire in general. And then also a lot more drinking, like just pouring, speed racing, driving like lunatics, having a good time, I guess. Reckless irresponsible behavior, but obviously these men don't care at all about anything whatsoever. Or do they? Little family hiking. Oh, that's so cute. The little, little kids. They're kind of young kids, maybe around six years old or something. And they're, you know, climbing and the first chorus kind of, you know, ends with a glimpse of us as the lyrics. And it's interesting that we see a family and they're it's almost as if our main boy, whoever this is, our narrator is talking about the family as in this is what could have been if we had stayed together. You know, whatever society says is ideal, which would, you know, become family, have kids, woo, fairy tale ending, whatever. That image is soon followed by the image of one of the bros flipping off something off screen and having those two images together, we assume that he is flipping off the children and the family. And so you get this idea that because the relationship ended, that we then have these men who are really sad, but also just very angry at these ideals, at these dreams that maybe they once had, or maybe they like 
participated in in some form or fashion and now they're like no I don't want that forget the relationship forget that family all of it means nothing I don't care about it no but do they feel that way it goes back into the chaos of all these different videos back to back we see in the second verse a lot more fights between the bros they're fighting each other and then fighting against women whether or not they're in a relationship it's not super clear from the audio that we're hearing but you know in the context of the romance the lyrics we make connections whether or not they should exist they've been connected we also see fights with the police so the police could stand for you know the police because we are talking and looking specifically at this kind of gang culture but then we can also understand the police as like greater society and other forms of like societal enforcement in that sense so we move on to more chaos and this time we think about this chaos as in those guys totally weren't affected at all by any of the fighting whatsoever because you know they're they're tough and they're just they're destroying things if you destroy things why would you care about anything you know or do you something interesting at the end of the second chorus with the line once again glimpse of us is an article called here's what women want in a man according to experts from the website Brides. Now, this is interesting not only because the article exists in real life, and you can search it and find it, the title itself indicates that these bros, whoever's searching it on the computer, wants to know what women want. So there's this sense of some kind of failure, but also wanting to learn, and maybe wanting to adapt to whatever this, you know, standard is. But the article isn't what women say they want in a man. It's what experts say women want in a man. We're like this once removed. And so these are people we're supposed to trust, but maybe we don't necessarily trust what they're actually saying. The other interesting thing is that the website is called Brides. And why would we be interested in that? Why in the context of everything else, of the family, of perhaps trying to go to this specific societal ideal that we're told is considered good and that we should want. Why does this matter? Once again, glimpse of us wanting this type of ideal, but knowing that not only is it not possible for that specific relationship, but it is interesting that the article itself does talk about confidence, trustworthiness, integrity, compassion, emotional availability, respect, a sense of humor, and maturity. And these are things that are not present at all in the video. So I wouldn't really trust any of these guys or feel that they fulfill this type of like, what the experts say that w women want in men. The article itself talks a bit about online dating and how this plays into like, how these different attributes play into online dating and how they kind of interact with each other which is a topic for another video it's not particularly important for this one lots of fighting and this at this point we have the audio being coming more chaotic so you hear a lot of the fighting from the video overlapping with jody's really sad ooze and that there's also dogs barking and it's just very stressful and sad and it, it, it feels almost overwhelming. Keep cycling through these various like moments with violence, whether you see some blood like with the teeth and then um, fighting each other, climbing over fences. And at times we see some of the bros, like the first one that's super noticeable is this guy who's sitting in the middle of the street. His legs are kind of splayed open. He looks like he's about to fall, but maybe because of his like body position, he's like keeping upright. And um, the audio is something along the lines of like, are you okay? Like, bro, get out of the street, like that kind of thing. And it's interesting that at this point that we see more of these types of images where there is a man alone, apart from the group. If the group is pictured, he's apart from it. If they're not pictured, well then of course they're not there. They're not there. We see these men with their their like their head way in their palms and they're often almost in a fetal position, either squatting down with their knees closer to their chest. And it just 
they feel well like physically they're so small in these moments and they're also very lonely and they look so hopeless and they don't know that there's any way to help themselves and that like because they don't know that there's a way to help themselves and they're not getting any help because they're just so isolated. The third instance of any text that happens in the music video, which is the word help in graffiti. And of course there's a bunch of other graffiti, but help to me is the most, it stands out the most. To me, it says that these men are in desperate need of help because obviously they're not doing too hot. Like they are literally curled in on themselves. They are isolated and you know, all this recklessness, destructive behavior is not the solution. Let's talk a bit about the stuff that I've been reading. So one of the things that I learned was this British term called anti-SWAT with an O, lad. College age guys will rebel against authority and take it out on teachers and any kinds of figures that they see in their life and just not pay any attention or put any focus into schooling. Essentially what this does is it nerfs any of their, any possibilities that they will get a good job or any type of um, higher education which will then lead to potentially higher salaries and work that doesn't require as much hard um, manual labor. So what we're seeing is that these hard manual labor jobs are also decreasing and they're not getting paid as much as the higher education jobs are. And as a result, some of these men who are like hyper masculine in the way that they're doing physical activity and you know hard work that have traditionally been associated with men, they're no longer their breadwinner. And so without that breadwinning status, without even potentially that job, you see a lot of angst and anger against society and the system. And so that's trickling down. And of course, even though the term is specifically from the UK, it doesn't mean that it's only happening in the UK. It's becoming increasingly obvious that the boys are not okay. Why would you say that? Well, I mean, even just taking the lyrics and the video as examples, our boy is heartbroken. Specifically, the text exchange is like, babe, I miss what we had. I don't know why I'm acting so crazy for real for real. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's talk about relationships in general. Today's day and age, masculinity has a lot of different definitions, depending on ableism, like sexuality. We also have more like traditional, like 1950s things. And these definitions are changing and constantly expanding. But it just because the definitions are expanding, it doesn't mean they've all been accepted. Heterosexual relationships have become the anchor point in which men identify their identity because they're literally the man in the relationship. So what happens is that once that relationship is done, it's ended for whatever reason, they're left with all these emotions and then they can't even deal with them because, hey, dealing with your emotions is feminine and now that you've lost your anchor point of who you are as a man, you have to do hyper-masculine things like go out and destroy things and like be weirdly sexual with everything. Yeah, it's not a good time. These types of relationships are broken and that in general society that our idea of masculinity is very broken. And although we have all these different definitions, which is good, um, the fact that not all of them are accepted or as easily accepted and even like internally, externally, there's all these conflicts with them. And that is terrible. Because then you get groups who try to be this like hyper masculine impossible ideal and instead of helping themselves, they hurt themselves, they leave themselves empty and then they go and they use these aggressive, violent, self-destructive behaviors and they hurt other people, which is why we see incel groups especially becoming very violent. And then you see all these other groups and usually they're not women, like over nine times out of 10, like 99 out of 100 times, maybe even more than that, they are men. And so it's indicative of a culture that is broken and that needs to like deal with itself, but refuses to deal with itself when it comes to dialogues and like, you know, conversations about what does gender mean we don't often include men into the space because 
some of them are very toxic, especially when we talk about trans or, you know, non-binary people. And some of these people are, you know, men's rights to the emptieth degree. And it's, it's not helpful for anybody what some of these people are doing. Perhaps have, you know, a system of support for men. I think that's the very least we could do because Jordan B. Peterson's going to cry about lonely men and then, you know, taking themselves out of the game, so to say. Then maybe we should, you know, as a society, especially men, it's on you. You gotta help your bros, okay? You gotta kiss them. You gotta tuck them in tonight. Not literally, but like emotionally. You need to take care of this. And you can't all have like emotional constipation, okay? Cause then that's not healthy for anyone. And having these support groups that actually support each other and they don't cause mutual destruction like what we see in the music video, okay? That's, that's a good starting place. Beyond that, I'm gonna let y'all talk it out, maybe in the comments or something. I'm willing to be part of the conversation because it's not just men who talk about masculinity, but they are an important part of what of how to define you know masculinity is men talking about it so at the end of the day thank you so much for watching and and if you want more content like this be sure to like and leave in the comments and let me know otherwise if you don't like it you know do whatever and i will be coming out with more content in the future more videos coming out soon so be sure to subscribe and stick around if you want that. Until then, you better hydrate or you will dehydrate. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.